All right, guys, so uh, you guys get to see some of my mess. But um, I'm finally starting to make a little bit of progress here. And uh, I have had this guy in my possession for a little while now. And I have not done anything other than some quick basic testing, just to make sure everything's working well and, and kind of play with the settings a little bit. Well, what I'm working on right now is I've got these gondola shelves. Uh, never mind the rest of the mess. That's part of the purpose behind the shelves. And I will show you as I put this together, but I am taking this shelf right here. There's a couple of them on here. It's completely modular. It's the greatest thing about gondolas is you get to set it up how you want. So I'm going to take this board and I'm going to come in the bottom here and screw this thing down to the shelf and support it. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that guy right there and I'm going to hang it from here and I'm going to start doing my testing and playing with all my batteries. I'm going to put another shelf here. Once I get that set how I want it right here, then I can set my shelf here how I want to set up batteries or whatever I want to play with um, and this will become the platform for future videos and testing and so on and so forth. Um, at least for now. We'll see. I might decide that I don't like this at all and want to change it up uh, completely. But um, yeah, so this is the beginning of that. As you can see behind me, we've got our shelf there. Um, I am using just these regular, uh, I can't even remember what they're called, drywall screws or whatever. I, I don't know if they're drywall or not. Let me show you what I'm doing here. Okay, so I, because I just grabbed what was laying around, it's an old kind of weather rotted board. Um, and I put a couple screws in here uh, just to hold it in place. But then I went ahead and I pre-drilled my holes um, so that way, because it's a, a weather rotted board, I did not want to have any issues with it splitting and dropping my beautiful grow watt inverter. So um, with these drywall screws, I'm just using... Um, not sponsored necessarily, but uh, Milwaukee's 332nd uh, impact bit with my, of course, wonderful Milwaukee tools. So that uh, is how I am going to secure this board. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Drop that. Uh, Pre-drill my hole and put in my screws to hang the inverter. And that will be a good temporary setup that's super modular. I can take it down, put it up, move it, whatever I want to do with it. Nothing too permanent until I figure out a more long-term solution. Whereas right now, this is kind of more of a test bed until I'm ready for a long-term solution. And so that way I can kind of share my journey with you guys and, and uh, show you my progress. And if you guys have questions, I can go ahead and get them answered for you and, and show you examples. Okay, as you can see, this is... Um, our temporary setup so this is going to hang right here I'm gonna go ahead and put another shelf here uh, probably at the appropriate height to give this a backrest so it's not just dangling loosely I mean it'll still kind of be dangling loosely um, and then these were just my test leads that I set up temporarily um, but I might kind of incorporate this same idea down here on this lower shelf um, so that way I can maybe mount a, a bus bar or something to give this more of a, a, an appropriate permanent hookup and then I can set up that bus bar to hook up to a battery bank that I can do all my battery bank testing right here right at um, well it's comfortable standing level and just like that the uh, shelf is in and this will probably become my testing bed for um, at least the next little foreseeable future and you can see she's comfortably resting right there so she's somewhat secured um, in that sense right there she's not just dangling loosely uh, ready to get knocked over but I actually really like this idea here so I'm going to take that and I'm going to incorporate that um, when I have some more time, um, but I will uh, document and show you guys as I continue to work on this. I will, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to probably um, take another board, secure it here, so that way I can actually secure 
the screw holes in to the board here and actually have it fully secured. But then, because this is metal, uh, I've been looking at, I was watching Will Prowse, uh, DIY Solar with Will Prowse. Um, I saw where he was using a metal rack and put rubber mats down. And I actually really like that idea. So I think I might line this with rubber here uh, for any and all battery work testing, whatever. Um, and then continue off of putting a wood frame here uh, and probably even take it down for my bus bars because then I can set up my bus bar here, connect it to that and have those bus bars come over and be right in the area of where I'm going to be testing batteries or connections or uh, just temporarily running everything for now while I play with it. Um, and then you can't see it, but right back here uh, is the window to the outside of my garage and I think there might even be like a cable satellite connection, something run in through the wall where I can actually run my solar PV through that and it's already existing and I don't have to worry about messing with anything. And um, also stealing another idea from Will Prowse, I currently just have my solar just sitting on the ground, no permits required, it's temporary, nothing, no issues, you know. Um, and then I also have a trailer that I think I might mount some solar on as well. But I haven't quite decided exactly what I'm going to do. And we'll see how things change over the coming months. I want to make it a simple modular setup that doesn't require any sort of permits. I want this to become a mobile system long term. But for now, I just want to start using it and playing with it and um, having free energy to, to, well, I guess there's no such thing as free energy, but collecting energy at no cost to me uh, besides my initial investment. So uh, stay tuned. I'll keep you guys updated and keep showing you the progress as I make it. We'll see ya.